Hey guys, it's Angel I know some here, and welcome to Custom Lego Sets, or Lego Set Reviews. And today is a custom Lego set, and it is the custom Lego V8 Fort Falcon Interceptor. If you don't know what this is, this is the car from the Mad Max Trilogy. You can tell that I have all the Mad Max movies on the background, so we have the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. But of course... The Interceptor never appeared in the third sequel, of course. It only appeared in the first, the second, and then a little bit in the fourth one until it's been modified. So, yeah. Like, into, like, the War Boys version. Like, you didn't, you didn't see it until, like, the end or just other scenes. So, yeah. So, anyway, this is the uh, V8 Ford Falcon Interceptor. This is the Road Warrior version. This is the second sequel or Mad Max 2, whatever you want to call it. So, anyway, I have custom Mad Max, which you can tell right here. And, of course, this is the version from the Road Warrior. And that includes that piece. If you're wondering what this is supposed to be, I'll show you later on. So, I'm going to go on with Max himself. And, yeah, let's get started. Alright, the minifigure is Max Terry, the Road Warrior. He once had a good family and a good job until when the apocalypse came he loses everything his friend near jim goose his wife and his son and of course he went mad and of course begins on a rage to get revenge so this is the road warrior from the second sequel mad max the road war so he has like a custom like a paper like a shoulder guard Alright, I like just cut a piece of paper and kind of like, well actually I drew on the paper and then I cut that, look actually I colored it and then cut that and then glue that on and yeah, just glue that on, so yeah. But of course the torso itself, of course, like I didn't appreciate a little bit, probably you people won't appreciate this. So this is the only torso I got so far for the Road Warrior himself, you know, please excuse this torso probably so this is like right here of course this was actually customized from uh indiana jones like leather jacket i just paint that all black except that skin piece right there like of course i used to have like skin pieces but i don't anymore you know because it got all dried up and uh yeah so i just paint custom painted on the indiana jones torso like hand painted near it's about getting the skin piece and then finally had like a and then the outer of the jacket of course it's the uh like kind of like a gray shirt and then right there if you can, can't tell that is supposed to be like the like that shoulder you know like to like where max carries and the road where like he has like kind of like a wrench and some other gears and then on his like bottom right you but probably I didn't of course like I didn't paint it like he's supposed to have like one of those like a uh, leg and uh, protector or actually like leg and uh, suspensors or something like that and yeah like I'd include that sorry about that and also he was supposed to include binoculars also like I was planning about hand painting those but but you know in the future when I do when I get some like like those like skit stickers, I'm gonna customize the uh torso and make it a lot more better. And also in the future I am gonna plan about doing like custom of uh, Max's, like of course like all the different torsos he wore in the trilogy. So this is the Road Warrior version, like the second sequel of it. And also you can tell people right invisible of it is a custom double barrel shotgun, like I didn't order this online, like on like Brick Arms or eBay. I just like kind of like grab like kind of like one of those like uh, rifles. Like it's not like one of those rifles, but I don't have it with me. Like I had kind of like carry like a rifle, like a different rifle. Like and if I like just cut some pieces of it and then just try to match it, like you know, the double barrel shotgun. And then yeah, this is my good son of double barrel shotgun. There's no like custom uh, back uh, prints, which sucks. And also the head, of course, like uh, that is from an Indiana Jones head, like just like the torso itself, but just the head also. 
and also the uh, hair piece that is as of course that's just a good piece that's good for Max so when I do like the original Mad Max or Mad Max Fury Road he's gonna have really short hair and yeah this is Mad Max so yeah like of course like the arm printings of course like he has uh, a flesh skin on his uh, right hand and just a jacket skin on his left. And of course he does have gloves and it's on there. So yeah, this is uh, Mad Max. So anyway, we're going to move on to the Interceptor. And yeah, this is my goodest Max and also the brown pants. Well, not the brown pants, but the brown belt, of course. Also represents parts of the torso. I like it didn't include like the... You know, like the paint in it. So, yes, yeah, for apologies. So, anyway, let's get to the Interceptor. And, yeah, that's, this is Mad Max. Alright, before I get started on the Interceptor itself, please excuse, like, the background itself. Like, I want to include, like, the whole, like, the trilogy itself in, with the set itself. But, uh, sadly, I didn't have enough room. So, yeah, I just had to have just the Interceptor itself. Like, I, I do have, like, enough room, but if I was, like, far away and all that stuff, I would just not show much of the Interceptor, so, yeah. So, anyway, this is the uh, V8 Ford Falcon Interceptor, the, the pursuit car of Max. Like, we first seen this car when, you know, it was being in progress, but, of course, we never seen it until, like, the final scene in the first Mad Max movie. And then we finally seen this car again in the Road Warrior. And of course with some lots of modifications until it got destroyed right before the end, which is which sucks of course. But then finally it didn't of course like it didn't appear in uh, Beyond Thunderdome, the third sequel of Mad Max. I almost said second sequel, but the third sequel of the Mad Max trilogy, it was still destroyed. Like of course Max kind of like kind of like used like a wagon like van until. He was hijacked by uh, Max's old like friend, the Jio Captain. Of course, it was Jensen, something like that. Like, it was J something, but oh well. Yeah. You know, so yeah. And then finally, of course, uh, the Interceptor finally appeared again in Theory Road, with now like all rusted, and then the the front you know, headlights you know, had like front damage. I had kind of like a damage, you know, and of course it was destroyed, you know, again, right, which sucks, and of course like it has been modified again, you know, this time like the jet, you know, of this was much more bigger, and then the wheels are like kind of like this like high, right, and of course it's all silver, and the new headlights, so yeah, so anyway the interceptor of course like. Nice. This is kind of like the best I got for the Interceptor itself. Like you can see, like the details and all. Like probably you're like, wow, this, like, like wow, this wow. You no, know, it's like, like of course, yeah. Like originally I was about to use like these um, those like these, like those like curve pieces, but of course I didn't find a lot, so I had to end up like just like those like. You know, two by fours. There's long pieces. Watch like the two by two pieces on the front and back, like the front top, like the second, middle, and bottom. And then I just just use like a one by four long piece here. Yeah. So yeah. So of course, here we have the uh, interceptors like motor itself. Like if you're wondering why is there a binocular here, well. It does have like one of those spinny thingies, but I didn't include that, which of course, yeah. But maybe in the future, you know, I can like cut out that piece. I can cut out that piece and then make it a lot more better, make more sense. And yeah. And then of course this, of course, this was actually painted. Like the wheels, of course, were painted. They're originally like gray. Yes, and I had to spray paint these all you know, black. This was originally gray too. This was also 
Well, like painted black, which made a lot more sense, a lot more better to match with the set. And of course, we can see like the thrusters itself, and and the door itself can actually open. Though this is gonna be a problem. Yeah, if like when you're gonna open these doors, there's like on both sides the thrusters are gonna be in the way, which kind of would suck. It kind of does suck. Like originally, I was planning about like not including the doors. And they just have the thrusters, but I should just try to match it with the, uh, like the set itself. You know, like just have one, but then finally I just, I should just have more. And right, so, yeah, that's going to fall. So, if you're going to put the, push these down and then open the doors, you, then you can reveal like the inside. So, again, the inside, we have the like a wheel. Inside, we have like kind of like the thruster itself. Probably you can tell, focus. Focus, focus, probably, yeah, uh, that's how best to do. Yeah, you can tell that there's the, like, the main, like, air joystick itself. You know, and also, in the back, also, probably if we could take off the hood, you know, the top piece can, and yeah, pop up. Uh, in the top piece, you can tell right here that this is supposed to hold Max shotgun, like, like, of course, in the movie, like, probably in the movie, like, like, Max keeps his shotgun right here. You know, like, with the other tools. But I like to have it, just have it right there. So, yeah, you could just hold, like, the shotgun right there. Anyways, I'll demonstrate. So, first, we take out our Max, and we gotta get rid of his, like, shotgun. And we're gonna try to stick it right here. Try best I could. Try to face it like this way. So yeah, we just face it's just gonna face it like that. So yeah. So anyway, when you're gonna close the door, oh oops, my bad. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem with these doors. So when you close the doors, put the thrusters back into its uh position like as best you could. Right, so yeah, make sure like, you know, like the thrusters are like, like the car, the door itself is nice and snuggled in there. So yeah, and also you can get a better view of the joystick itself. So yeah. So anyway, and also in the back when I put back in the hood, you know, we see like the tankers and other stuff that Max Savage, like we have some like random green piece here. This is supposed to be uh, a gasoline tank, but I just said it like, all right, you know what? Yeah, this is the best I could do it, but oh well. And also, these are supposed to be like the uh, tankers. Here's that Max use. Here's in the movie, and uh, these were originally black. You can tell by the paint, painting, and the scribbles and all that stuff. And so yeah, you're just, probably I could I should hand paint these like with some like dirty like dry brush the uh, you know, tankers like black to match up with this. So yeah, that's just a random piece. You know, it's a Max Savage, and then back there's just nothing. Yeah, you know, here we just have like a little like headlights, and then there's just like a curved piece. Right, and then there's also like the lights here, and also like these side light, like the side windows, of course. Like these were originally going to be like one of those like one b one block, like not block, like square piece, you know, window like shape piece that's supposed to be on there. But then finally, I try to find something like that, but that didn't work out as planned. And then just and so I had to end up like oh. Uh, one by one, like cylinder or silver piece. So, yeah, this was originally built from this uh, uh, interceptor was built from uh, a Lego, uh, like all random Lego pieces I could find. And also, this piece right here, when you probably take this off, you can tell like this is actually from uh, this piece right here, like, like a three by four. Uh, you know, like stud piece with this top piece here. 
I tried to make the front piece as best I could and I just failed so I had to end up like this. So yeah. And of course I had to do some like a little bit of modification so the interceptor like cut up this piece to make it look like there's only like one piece of you know the jet itself probably. I think it's a jet something. People tell me below it of what this piece is if it's a jet or a fluster or whatever it is. So yeah. And also, if you're wondering what this piece is, well, in the movie of Mad, of Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior, what, during the first chase, Max, yes, of course, got the front piece, this front piece damage, you know, when Bumpy in one of the cars, and then just losing you know, the front piece, and then just ends up having like a, you know, like a damaged front piece, you know, front headlights with a hook on it, so... That's just the main, th you know, p best thing, little crazy thing about it. And it just goes like that throughout the whole movie. So, yeah, I just like you know, these headlights better than the first one. Than rather than the other half. But, well, it's just a car. You just gotta get some modifications and all that stuff. So, yeah. And like you know, you can maybe customize your own V8 interceptor by making your own like if you if you get rid of these pieces, you can end up having like the original Mad Max car, like what it was originally in the first movie. Here, so let me demonstrate. Let me just get that piece back on. Let you know also, people, that this piece was also like one of those like hinge pieces when it goes up. I tried to go like the opposite way, but it didn't go as planned, so I had to modify it, and then, yeah. All right, so, anyway, if we get rid of the tankers, that one piece, that Max Savage, sorry, that I didn't get rid of that, the, the like, the you know, oil, you know, like the gasoline tank and holder. All right, hold on a second. I'm doing my best to get rid of this. So, yeah, so if we get rid of that, it's like everything that Max Savage, there you go. We have just the Interceptor itself, as it once was in the first Mad Max movie. And then when we're going to put these all together, we're going to have the Road Worry version. So, we have all these pieces. And it's all back together. Sorry, this is gonna be boring, so yeah. Doing my best to put back everything. Just just everything. There we go. So we have the road worry version. And if I were plan about doing the Fury Road version, you know, of course the interceptor, of course, it was all rusted and one of the front headlights this one right here was damaged. If I were planning about making like the damaged headlights, I had to find another like gold like piece. And it's here and then just cut some of this part off. Well, actually, no, I don't think that. I don't think there was the front headlights. Like, probably like. It's, it would just probably be one of those like. One of those like see through pieces. But, yeah, but. I like to have these pieces on. It makes the interceptor look more cool. Anyway, if you want to build this, you can check out by building like at the bottom and then try to work your way up to the top. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, V8 Ford Falcon interceptor. Let me include Max in there. It doesn't have a double barrel shotgun. Like it's already in there, but oh well, like let's just leave the double barrel shotgun in there. So anyway, so you know, right here we have the interceptor. This is my first, actually, yeah, this is my first project, my first Lego custom review. I'm gonna do some modification to this sometime in the future. I'm just gonna get rid of this piece right here, and then ha find another gold piece and it's here, and then cut that to make it look like the Mad Max Fear Road version. And yeah, and also get some stickers for my Max right here to make some torsos. 
And then also in the future, I would do some custom minifigures. Like, like when I get some stickers, I'm gonna uh, plan about making the custom Max, like custom Max from the 1979 version. You know, and then finally, I'm gonna make a better version of the Road Warrior version. And then Beyond Thunderdome, there's gonna be two versions of that, of course. And Theory Road, of course, that's also gonna have two versions of that. And yeah. So this is the V8 Ford Falcon Interceptor. I got a blooper going on and also a deleted scene going on where my dad interrupts telling me like I'm going to have tacos. Like that would be playing right now. Hey guys, it's DJ Light Dosen here and welcome to the first time of making custom Lego. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, first up is the Road Warrior, Mad Max, or Max Rock and Terry. I think I said it right, right? Yeah. So anyway, this is the Road Warrior Max, of course, who wanders alone in the wasteland. And of course, he is there's the lone ro road warrior. How much gross? Ah. Dang it. Hey. What? Tacos are ready. Yeah, give me a sec. I'm filming right now. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that is the LEGO V8 Ford Falcon Interceptor. Hope you enjoyed this custom LEGO set review. If you enjoyed this video, leave some likes on this video. And probably if you don't, that's okay. Yes, you can just leave a dislike or just don't leave a like. Yes, or dislike. But hopefully you'll love this LEGO set. Yes, and yeah. So anyway, guys. Leave some likes on this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on both DeviantArts and Tumblr, and as always, I'll be back in another video.